Ready? I said I was ready the last... No, actually, I didn't say I was ready. You were not ready. I was not ready, and that kind of proved that I was not ready. Cool. I'm probably not ready right now. Okay. So we're just going to start without you. When you get ready, just jump in. Uh, what's going on, YouTube? We're doing a thing. So it was brought to our attention that we don't do a lot of old school, which we need to do. Yeah, we're trying to fix that. So we got a, a request for Slick Rick children's story. Slick which, Rick's is old school as hell. I, this is way before So me. Um, we said, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, Skylar has no idea what a Slick Rick is. Sounds dirty. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what uh, what you guys requested. Oh, that's old school. That's definitely old school. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, this is old school. This is Definitely old school. Yeah, that was definitely old school. 100% old school. Mainly has to be. Yeah. 
definitely. And the video. The video was a little Well, yeah, the beat. Video over the top. Also, yeah. Um, I was kind of trying to get... And the sample. The sample was very yeah. specific. Yeah. Mm. Um, I was trying to grasp the narrative, but I'm like... The vi well, mm. so the video made light of it. Yeah. It's a more serious story underneath. Oh, yeah. No, I could definitely tell that when we got to, like, the... More the, the guns and everything yeah. like that. But, I don't know, like, it was weird. Like, it looked, like, contemporary, but, like, was, like, old school. Like, what era were cops dressing like that? The 30s? Yeah, that's a long 20s. Long, that's yeah, a long time ago. Then, I don't know, it looked like a different, a meshing of uh, different decades, I guess you could yeah. say. Okay, and true, Uncle Ricky, could you read us a bedtime story? Please, huh, please. All right, you kids, get the bed. I'll get the storybook. Y'all tucked in? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Got to set up. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Makes sense. Verse, once upon a time, not long ago. Okay, so that does make sense. Mm -hmm. When people wore pajamas and lived life slow. Pretty sure people still wear pajamas. I think it's not like the, the, the old school pajamas. Oh, like, no, okay, no. Like, actual sleeping yeah. attire. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. When, pe yeah. when laws were stern and justice stood, and people were behaving like they ought to, good. They lived a little, yeah, there lived a little boy who was misled by another little boy, and this is what he said. Me and you tonight, we're gonna make some cash, robbing old folks and making the dash. They did the job, money came with ease, but you couldn't stop, it's like he had a disease. He robbed another and another and a sister and her brother. Uh, tried to rob a man who was a DT undercover. Okay. It's DT. Uh, I should be Detective? Drunk. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, the, the cop grabbed his arm. He started, yeah, he started acting erratic. He said, keep still, boy, no need for static. Okay. Punched him in his belly and he gave him a slap, but little did he know the little boy was strapped. The kid pulled out a gun. He said, why'd you hit me? The barrel was set straight for the, for the cop's kidney. Oh, damn. <laughs> the cop got scared. The kid, he starts to figure. I'll do years if I pull this trigger. So he so he cold dashed and ran around the block. Cop radios into another lady cop. Wait, cop radios into an okay. Yeah. He ran by a tree. There he saw his sister. Shot for the head and he shot back, but he missed her. <laughs> okay. Look around good and from expectations. So he decided he'd head for the subway stations. But she was coming and he made a left. He was running top speed till he was out of breath. Knocked an old man down and swore he killed him. Oh, damn. So he's fleeing. He's just, he really is fleeing. Then he made his move to an abandoned building. Ran up the stairs, up to the top floor, opened up the door there. Guess who he saw? Who? Uh, Dave, the dope fiend, shooting dope. Yeah, that's definitely not child story <laughs> worthy, but okay. <laughs> Don't know the meaning of water nor soap. <laughs> okay, but okay, I see. Some of that. Yeah. He said, I need bullets, hurry up, run. The dope fiend brought back... A spank, a spanking shotgun. Oh, oh, like a new shotgun. Yeah, I'm guessing that's spanking new. Yeah. Oh, that's all. That's he said. <laughs> okay, that's that's an unnecessary annotation. Did it just recite the lyrics? Yeah. That was stupid, but okay. He went outside, but never there were cops all over him. Then he dipped into a car, a stolen Nova, raced up the block doing 83, crashed into a tree near University, escaped alive through the car was. Though the car was battered, rat tat tatted, and all the cops scattered. Ran out of bullets and he still had static. Grabbed a pregnant lady and pulled out the automatic. Pointed at her head and he said the gun was full of lead. He told the cops back off or honey it here's dead. Deep in his heart he knew he was wrong so he let the lady go and he starts to run on. Siren sounded, he seemed ast astounded and before long the little boy was surrounded. He dropped his gun so went to glory and this is the way I had to end this story. He was only 17 in a madman's dream, the cops shot the kid. I still hear him scream. This ain't funny, so don't you dare laugh. Just another case about the wrong path. Straight and narrow, or your soul gets cast. Good night. Outro. Knock him out. Knock him out. The box, Rick. Knock him out, Rick. Oh boy, that Uncle Ricky is really weird. I know, right? What does he mean? <laughs> Straight and narrow, or your soul gets cast. I don't know. I think he'd be <laughs> cracking it up or something. Well, good night. Good night. Another. That's right. Rick the Ruler presentation crumbs. <laughs> okay, that was definitely a narrative. Mm -hmm. And like you said, like the actual, it was a serious story. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Underneath a very yeah, more it's, it's, it's definitely humoristic. A, a narrative of a, of a guy getting caught up. Yeah, basically. But no, I like it. Definitely, it's, I guess you could say this is like retro. 
ish. Yeah, story. To an extent. I think that's why they, they, they suggested this too, because we always yeah. bitch that we don't get enough story rep. This Good is a one hundred percent story. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Like you can vision it in your head. So. Good on you for catching on to like us <laughs> wanting one more story rap, so that's good. So, I don't know. This is definitely on my list. Yeah, it's going to be on my list. Yeah. It beats solid. Mm -hmm. It's a good message. Yeah. I like that. I, I, I don't know. The 90s were a good time for rap. For hip hop. Yeah. I, I can't really say much because I'm still hooked up on 80s electronic. Yeah, same. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. You would think I would be like overly obsessed with like 80s like rock and metal, but like, yep. nope, electronic. It's overdone. Yeah, it's overdone. <laughs> But, no, that was Slick Rick with Children's Story. Man, yeah. So, all right, well, on. Thank you for the suggestion. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be on our list. Yeah. Until next time, YouTube. See you guys on.